guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. And, um, well, you just saw it. Lenny inch his way in. I'll come back to my mat so you can actually see both of us. It's been a minute. Uh, cause, you know, life got a little crazy. I had a minor surgery and then school started and it's just been a whirlwind. Um, so I was in and out of the doctors most of the summer. Our dog was in and out of the doctors most of the summer. And um, I, like I said, I had surgery. He will need surgery. Um, pretty much this, this little guy right here is the only one in the house that will not have had a surgery within a year's time frame, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. If you are here joining me, Give me a thumbs up, give me a heart. Uh, it doesn't really tell me who's with me. They were, ooh, I got someone, yes. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are ready. Um, if you notice my voice is kind of raspy, it's because I just finished week two of school and um, you know, being home for like six months with COVID, even though part of it was still, you know, teaching at a distance uh, when you're actually in person and I'm giving them all of my energy and basically screaming. Uh, I have like no voice, so we will uh, we'll just make the best of it. Today's session will be very beginner friendly. Um, we'll call it a low and slow one. Uh, so we're not going to do, it'll be good. I'll just say that. So listen to uh, the modifications that I give and at any point throughout the session, anytime you feel anything that doesn't feel right within your body, change the position. Do not force yourself into it. If a stance is too wide, shorten your stance. Um, I say this just simply because so many times we go into a session and we really just want to nail it, but your body's not ready and so you're causing more damage. So please, please, please always modify, listen to your body. You do not want to cause any pain or damage or anything like that. Um, so if a pose is not right for you, don't do it. Um, just as a reminder, I have thoracic outlet syndrome. So even for me, with my arms extended for too long, that can cause some flare-ups. I'm to a point now where it's not so bad, but there are a lot of yoga poses that I either completely leave out of many practices or I modify uh, so I know that I'm meeting my body's needs. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Take care of your physical self first. We'll work on our mental all throughout, and we will really work on our breathing. So I hope you guys are ready for a low and slow beginner friendly TOS, thoracic outlet syndrome, friendly yoga session with me and Lenny, and maybe Finn will come see us, who knows. Um, and if you're ready, go to your mat and come on down into a comfortable seat. Legs crossed. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. And again, we always start with our breath. We just wanna connect and ground ourselves here. So go ahead and close your eyes. Bring your hands right into your lap in whatever position feels comfortable to you. And then just loop your shoulder blades towards the wall behind you just to open up your chest a little bit more. Go ahead and take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In. And exhale, let it go. Great job. Just let your breath come in and out through the nose in a natural rhythm. Begin to notice the sensations of not only the breath entering the body, what's going on in the body? Noticing where you might be holding in tension. Release through your forehead. Release through your jaw. Lower those shoulders away from your ears. Sit up a little taller. Notice if you're holding in or tensing through your legs. Let them relax. And just feel the weight of your body getting a little heavier into your mat. Continue breathing in through the nose. Out through the nose. 
You bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And with this next inhale, I want you to really feel your chest and your belly lifting at the exact same time. So take an inhale. Hold it at the top. Before we exhale, I want you to begin to pull your belly button in, pull that core, flex your abs, and then press that air out. Exhale, let it go through the nose. Do that again, big inhale, chest and belly lift. Exhale, engage your core, press it out. One more, just like that, big inhale. And exhale. Great job, go ahead and release your hands down next to your hips. You can keep your eyes open or closed and just listen to my voice, find whatever is comfortable for you. Take a big inhale, make sure we're really lifting through our chest, sit up tall. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, look up. Point those fingers towards the ceiling, turn your thumbs to the wall behind you, and really lengthen. Feel yourself extending your arms even farther than normal. Big breath. And on an exhale, float them down, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, sweep them up, look up, big stretch. Exhale, release them down, chin to chest. One more, inhale, lift them up. And exhale, lower. Great job, go ahead and bring your hands slightly behind you. You'll feel your body leaning back just slightly. I want you to lift through your chest. Make sure your shoulders are squeezing in towards one another here. You might have to reposition your hands or even come up onto your fingertips so you can find a comfortable position here. So once you've got your spine nice and long and set, chest lifted. Go ahead and take a big inhale, send your nose to the sky. And on that exhale, just tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more, just like that, in. And exhale, chin to chest, and this time keep your spine going. Bring your hands forward, catch them onto your knees and feel this rounding through your spine. Keep your chin tucked into your chest here and just really hold this pose. Pull your belly button towards your spine, like really press it towards the wall behind you here. Allow your shoulders to release forward, pressing your ribs back in space, really feeling this lengthening from your neck all the way down to your tailbone. We're gonna stay here for three more breaths. So whatever sensations are going on, just focus on that breath. Big inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more just like that. Last one. Slow and controlled, really press your tailbone into your mat and we're gonna roll up from our tailbone, rolling through your hips, your low back, mid back, upper back, stacking your head up once you're all the way there. Take a big inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more, in and out. Great, on that next inhale, send both of your arms forward, palms facing one another, fingertips pointed directly at me. Send me all your energy. Give me like a little finger wiggle. wiggle. You know I'm back in my classroom teaching middle schoolers when I say dumb things like that. Sorry and you're welcome. <laughs> Take a big inhale. And on an exhale, drag that right arm across your arm, across your body, open it up to the wall behind you. Look over that right shoulder. And part your lips just slightly so you can release through your jaw. Make sure we're sitting up tall here. We're not allowing ourselves to slouch. Take a big breath in. And exhale, bring your hand forward. Inhale. Exhale, glide that left arm all the way back. Look over your left shoulder. Part your lips just slightly. 
Focus on that breath, big breath in. And as you exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, exhale, send the right arm back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, opposite hand goes back. Inhale, bring it forward. And exhale, back. Last one, bring it in. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, bring them forward and release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, give me a shoulder roll here. And one more, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, look up. And on an exhale, twist to your left. Bring that right hand to your left knee. Again, look over your left shoulder here. Make sure we're sitting up tall. Come on to your fingertips behind you. And just take a moment to breathe in and out. One more, just like that, in, out. Inhale, arms go up and overhead. Come all the way back to center. And on an exhale, twist to the right this time. Catch your left hand to your right knee. Look over that right shoulder. Take a big breath in. And out. One more, just like that. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms go up, come forward. Look up, big stretch. Interlace your fingers together. Turn your palms towards the ceiling here. And on an exhale, I want you to go ahead and bring your hands to the base of your neck. Inhale, open your elbows wide, look up. And as you exhale, we're gonna round through our spine, coming into that curved shape again. Allow your elbows to just fall forward. Tuck your chin into your chest just slightly. No pulling, no tugging, just let gravity do its job. Inhale, roll all the way back up, open those elbows nice and wide, look up. And on an exhale, we're gonna roll back through, chin to chest, elbows come forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. And roll yourself all the way back up. Open those elbows and release your hands left to right. Find a stretch that feels good. Find a movement in your upper body that feels good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come on to all fours. How many of you are watching Lenny to see if he's trying to attack those plants? If you are, that's exactly what he's doing. He hates my plants. All right, you should have your knees directly underneath of your shoulders, your wrists directly under, wait a second, what did I just say? Knees under your hips. <laughs> and your wrists directly under your shoulders. Oh boy, it's been a day, you guys. You can keep the tops of your feet flat down under the mat or you can tuck them under. Find what's comfortable for you here. Press into your hands, feel your body lift away from the mat. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips to the sky, send your gaze forward. Again, press into your hands. Feel your elbow creases turning towards the wall in front of you. And on an exhale, roll through your spine, pulling your upper back toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. Inhale, exhale, we'll do two more with your own breath, in, out, last one, great job, come into that neutral tabletop position, make sure your toes are curled under, we're going to take a big inhale, and on an exhale, press into your toes, send your hips all the way up to the ceiling. It's okay if you have a big bend in your knees and your heels are lifted right now. We haven't really stretched our legs, so it is okay. So we're coming into our downward dog. I want you to turn your biceps towards the wall in front of you. 
Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide and feel yourself pressing into your index finger knuckles and your thumb pads, really getting those arms locked in the right position. When your arms are in the right spot, sink your chest a little closer towards your thighs. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, in and out. Go ahead and bend your knees, look towards the front of your mat, step or walk all the way up. Go ahead and wiggle your feet a little closer together. You can have your toes touching or about an inch apart. And then release your upper body over your lower body, coming into our forward fold. Get a nice deep bend in your knees so you can open up through that low back. Tuck your chin into your chest and just take a moment here to breathe. And if you feel any tightness in that breath because your thighs are at your belly, really feel the back side of your body lifting here. Take a big breath in. And out. And with that next inhale, we're going to straighten through our legs, lift our upper body, bring your hands all the way up to your thighs. Make this figure seven as we come into our halfway lift. Take a big inhale. And on an exhale, bend your knees, slow and controlled, forward fold. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, glide your hands up to your shins this time. Straighten through your legs, straighten through that upper body, coming into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Bring your hands to wherever it's comfortable for you. And exhale, fold. And with that next breath, we're going to slow and control, roll all the way up to standing, lengthening through your legs, pressing your hips forward, rolling up through the low back, mid back, upper back, loop those shoulders up, back and down, bringing your hands right at your thighs here, send your gaze forward, and just glide your chin back in space. You want to take that right hand to your chin and just Press it towards the wall behind you. You'll really come into this nice alignment. So while we're here, take a giant breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Relax your shoulders a little bit more. Inhaling in. And out. Go ahead and close your eyes. Notice if your balance shifts. Take a big breath in. And out. You might have found that you started to wobble a little bit more. That's how much we depend on our sight, you guys. All right, take a big breath, bend those knees, drop your hands down. We're gonna draw a big circle as we stand all the way up, palms together, overhead, slight back bend here. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. I want you to go ahead and plant your palms all the way down. Fingers spread wide and angle your fingers towards the edges of your mat just slightly. Step one foot back and then the other and shift yourself forward into a plank so your shoulders are directly over your wrists here. If you need to, you can always come down, take a modified version or stay up nice and tall and be a bridge for your cat. Take a big inhale in. And out. We're going to hold it here for two more breaths. So really pull your core in towards your spine. Press away from the ground with your hands here. One more breath in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled. Keep your elbows into your side and lower all the way down. Belly comes to the mat. Uncurl your toes. And as we inhale, press into your hands. Lift your entire upper body away from the ground. Lengthen through your arms. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine and engage your glutes to keep that low back safe. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, send your hips towards your heels. About halfway there, open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. And then continue sending your hips all the way back as we come into our child's pose. Bring that forehead all the way down to the mat. Keep your arms extended overhead. Go ahead and close your eyes. 
we're gonna be here for a minute or so, just really focusing on our breath, allowing ourselves to calm down. This is a great pose to come to anytime you start to feel a little stressed. You can notice your breath, you can't catch it. If your heart rate is up, you can come down into a child's pose and just take a moment. So everyone take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. Big breath in. And exhale, really let it go. Feel yourself getting heavy into your mat. Relax through your jaw. Relax through your face. Relax through your legs. I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips. And think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. to our tabletop position or all fours. Knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders, press away from the ground and go ahead and curl those toes under. Take a big breath in. Exhale, send yourself all the way up, downward facing dog. Try to bring your heels a little closer to the ground this time. If they're lifted still, it's okay. It comes with time. Not something that's going to happen overnight. The more you show up, the more you practice, the more you'll notice your body can move and bend and you feel good. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step only your right foot forward. Bring your foot with your hands. Take a big inhale, shift your body weight forward, making sure that this front knee is directly over that ankle. Send your gaze forward, take a big breath. Exhale, lower that back knee down. Go ahead and uncurl your toes. I want you to plant that left hand down and on an inhale, open that right arm all the way up to the sky. Turn your thumb slightly behind you and at the same time, try to pull that front knee in towards the center of your body. If this is too much with your arm lifted, just bring it down to your hips here. Or even bring your hand right to your shoulder. Just really try to open up that shoulder blade towards the back wall. Take a big breath in and out. If you're feeling too much pressure in that back knee, shift your body weight forward, making sure that that front leg stays in a line. Big breath in, out. Really feel your right rib cage extending towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, go ahead and plant that hand down. Go ahead and curl your toes under, lift through your back leg. And we're going to step the left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway left. Exhale. Fold. Bend those knees. Inhale, big circle. Stand all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And as we exhale, just bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes and we'll take a breath. In. And out. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms, slightly angling your fingers towards the edges of your mat. Step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other. And shift yourself into our plank. We're gonna hold it here, take a breath, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna get a little fancy on you with that next breath. When you step that left foot outside of your mat, and then send it back to the center. Inhale, right foot goes out. Exhale, pull it back in. 
One more each side. And last one. Great job. Take a big inhale. And on that exhale, elbows stay in. Slowly lower all the way down. Move through our vinyasa. Inhaling into up dog. And exhale, send it back into your child's pose. And you can keep your knees in close together if you'd like. Or you can open them as wide as your mat again. Bring that forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. One more big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Great, just let that breath come in and out through the nose. You can keep your arms extended or you can rotate them in towards the center, crisscrossing them over one another. Or even just pull your hands back under your shoulders and just really feel the weight coming into your forehead a little bit more. You can rock your head left and then to the right, getting a little massage here. This is really great if you have any sinus stuff going on. So it tends to hold right above our eyebrows. And then when you're ready, just find that stillness. Eyes closed. We'll focus on that breath. Inhaling in. And now, bring a big smile on your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. downward facing dog. Trying to sneak your heels even closer to the mat. Fix your clothes because God knows they move. And just focus on that breath for a moment. Big inhale. And exhale. Feel your chest sinking a little closer to your thighs. Lifting your hips a little higher. One more breath here. In. And on an exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step only your left foot forward this time. Frame your foot with your hands. Shift your body weight forward, lift through your chest, send your gaze directly out in front. Take a big inhale. Exhale. This time we're going to lower that back knee down, uncurl your toes, and go ahead and plant that right hand all the way down on your mat. Make sure this front leg, your knee is in line with your ankle. And when you're ready, open that left arm all the way up. Pull that left knee in towards your body. Turn your top hand towards that back wall. And just take a moment to breathe. Big inhale. Really lift through the left rib cage here. And exhale. Inhaling in. And out. Again, choosing that modification with your arms as needed. One more breath here. In. And now as we exhale, release that left hand down. Curl your back toes under. Lift that back knee. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. And exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step it back, lift through your vinyasa. And send it back into your child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. If you've had your knees open wide every time, then maybe this time pull your knees into the center and really try to allow your low back to open up. Listen to your body as you release down. 
Allow your breaths to help you sink a little closer, bringing that forehead towards the mat. You can bring your hands back by your shoulders if your knees are wide. And if they're into the center, take your hands all the way back by your feet, opening your palms towards the ceiling and just allowing your shoulders to roll forward, feeling a stretch through your back. Focus on that breath, big inhale and exhale. One more big one in and exhale, let it go. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. Inhale, bring your hands underneath of your shoulders and press yourself away from the floor. Sending your hips to your heels. If it's too much pressure for your knees, you can always take a pillow and place it in between your thighs and your calves, or you can just lift up just slightly. Really loop those shoulder blades back and down your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a big inhale. Exhale, relax your hands down by your hips. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting them up. And exhale, let them down. Send your body weight forward. Go ahead and curl your toes under and slow and controlled. You're going to let your hips come back towards your heels. You're going to get a really deep stretch through the bottoms of your feet. So if it's too much, just lift up and away. You don't want anything to cause any sensation that is too overwhelming that is going to hurt. You might feel a burning. You might feel a tightness. Well, we really have to stretch out our feet. I think it's like one third or one quarter of the bones in our entire body are in our feet. So you need to give them a little love. And you find a slight little rock side to side so you can work out some of those muscles or just stay still. Take a big inhale. Exhale. One more breath just like that in. And on that exhale, send your body weight forward. Legs are going to go out to one side. Bring your bottom all the way down. Extend your legs out in front. Planting those feet down onto your mat. Pulling your knees in towards one another. You can bring your hands right under your shins. Help pull yourself up nice and tall here. Tuck that chin back in space. Take a breath, big inhale. And exhale. Open your eyes, send your arms out wide. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, we're gonna sink back just slightly until you can feel your core engaged. If you're way up here with a straight back, I would rather you here than way back here with a rounded back. So find the area that works for your body and your limitations. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, lift through your upper body, bring that chest towards your thighs. Exhale, sink it back, hold it there, engage your core, pull that belly button into your spine, and then lift your arms up. Keep going up, 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 up. You're going to feel a shake through your body. You're going to feel your feet want to lift off the ground, and it's okay. Let's give ourselves that little challenge. Big breath in and out. Inhale, lift it up all the way forward. Allow your arms to come down to your knees and just take a moment here. And exhale. Good job. One more time. Inhale. Bring your arms out in front. Exhale. Sink it back. Hold it there. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling. 
Keep it going, find that breaking point, find where you can feel every single ab is working for you. Pull that belly button in, don't forget to breathe. Big breath in, out. See if you can sink it back a little more, lift those arms a little higher. One more breath here, in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, release yourself all the way down. Extend those arms overhead, extend those legs long. Get a big stretch here, you've earned it. And on an exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins with your hands and give them a little tug here. Lift that tailbone away from the floor. And then come into our stillness. Take a big breath in. And out. And go ahead and spiral through your ankles one way. And then the other. Take one more breath in. And on an exhale, release your left leg and then your right leg. Allow them to fall open as wide as your mat. Bring your arms down to the ground, palms open to the ceiling. And get yourself nice and comfortable here as we move into our final pose, Savasana. This is our time to just be still, to be present. And all that means is to just notice what's going on around us. Sounds, smells sensations, what's going on internally, in your body, and in your mind. So everyone take a big inhale in through your nose. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. Feel yourself relaxing here. Inhaling in. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. One more just like that, in. And out. And just let it go in and out through the nose. And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and close. And when you're ready, roll on your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. With that next inhale, press into the floor, Come all the way up into a comfortable seat. Legs crossed, eyes closed, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big breath in. And out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in. And now, be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhaling in. And now, be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And on an exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I, uh, I miss these practices. I miss the frequency of doing them. So I am really looking forward to getting back on track doing this every single week. Uh, remember, if you are inspired, you can totally send me a donation. Venmo and PayPal are both linked in the group under that last post. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time.
If you're catching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. You keep coming back, so you might as well like make it permanent and just join the team. So I hope you guys are awesome and happy and healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.